Spoiler alert. Boruto Chapter 51 went live yesterday, and if you hadn't seen the spoilers, there was a twist at the end that nobody could have predicted. The last new form Naruto got was the Sage of Six Paths mode in the 2014 war arc. Six years later, his character hasn't grown much in terms of strength. In fact, he's less battle-hardened than ever due to his years of Hokage work. With the spotlight on his son now, and Naruto known to be on the way out, I never thought we'd see another new Ninetales mode. But yesterday, I was proven wrong when the 7th Hokage took center stage to unleash a brand new form. If you follow the Naruto community at all, I'm sure you've heard about it. So I'm going to tell you everything we know about Naruto's new form. But first, my man Naruto Explained has been going through some very rough times lately. I've been watching his channel for years, he's a really good dude. So please, head over to his Twitter or one of his videos and show him some love. With that, let's get started. Naruto's new form is still shrouded in mystery. We don't know its name, function, ability, or even its full appearance. It showed up on the very last page of chapter 51, and we didn't get a clear look at the entire thing. In fact, not even Naruto knew this transformation existed. The form is something that Kurama has been keeping secret from Naruto for his entire life, but there's a very good reason for that. The transformation is Naruto's equivalent to the 8th Gate of Death. Unleashing it temporarily grants him crazy power, but at a very high cost, his life. Kurama describes it as a last stand, an ace up the sleeve. He only bestows it to Naruto when it becomes clear that they have absolutely no path to victory. Let me give you some quick context. Ishiki has been completely bodying Naruto and Sasuke every time they try and attack him. Again and again they go after him with no success. This time, the stakes are very high. Sasuke is exhausted and beaten down. Boruto has been messed up with a shattered arm and can't even stand. It's all down to Naruto to clutch this fight. If he fails here, there will be no one to stop Ishiki from achieving his horrible goals. I'm going to make another video that puts Ishiki's complex plan into simple terms. At this point, Naruto tells Kurama that he's going to make a final stand against the Otsutsuki. Even though he has no plan and no chance, Naruto has decided to go down swinging like a warrior. At this moment, knowing that Naruto is going to die either way, Kurama decides to tell him about the hidden ability. A secret tailed beast technique that powers up the user at the cost of their life. Naruto takes the offer, saying he has been prepared to die since the day he decided to become Hokage. Naruto has fully come to terms with his death. He's prepared to sacrifice his life without a moment's hesitation to protect his family and his village, not an ounce of fear or delay. He tells Kurama that he's ready for it. That is the resolve of a Hokage. This mode is something Kurama initiates, not Naruto. When activated, this Okage cloak changes to form nine tails of chakra. You can see a beautiful pattern flowing out of a spiral representing his Jinchuriki seal. There's a line to each tail, five on the bottom, four on the top. Interestingly enough, unlike other tailed beast forms, the rest of his clothes remain unchanged. His hair appears to form what looks like fox ears, but only one is visible in these panels. His eyes could give us some insight as to the nature of this transformation though. When he powers up to his Sage of Six Paths mode, his pupils form a cross. The vertical split represents the Tailed Beast Chakra, while the horizontal split represents the Sage Chakra. This new sacrificial form only features the Kurama pupil. This means that whatever it is, it comes 100% from the Nine Tails. It is not an evolution of the Sage of Six Paths mode. Even so, Kurama knows that it's stronger than Six Paths form. Even Ishiki and Sasuke acknowledge the total change in Naruto's chakra. Ishiki, who's been fighting six paths Naruto off and on for this entire arc, doesn't know what's going on. Sasuke, who's fought alongside Naruto for years and knows all of his forms, can't even believe that it is Naruto. Whatever this is, it's radically different than anything we've seen before. We don't know why or how it will result in his death. Maybe it will be too much for him to bear and kill him physically, like the Gate of Death. Maybe he will enter a state of oneness with the Tailed Beast and die spiritually. But let me make it clear. Kurama did not say that Naruto might die. He said that Naruto will die. In his words, do this and it's over. So will our boy Naruto actually go out in this blaze of glory? It would certainly be a fitting end for a Hokage. On top of that, imagine how ironic it would be. It was this power that made him an outcast. It was this power that he used to save the world. And finally, it was this power that took his life. As poetic of an end as that would be, I don't think it will be the case. We know from episode 1 that either Ishiki or Kawaki did something to Naruto. They either trapped him somewhere or sent him to the afterlife. We know this from the infamous line, I'll send you where I sent the 7th Hokage, Boruto. 
Now to me, those aren't words that describe the passing of a man who died on his own terms. Either Naruto will live past this point, or he will be killed by Ishiki before he has a chance to succumb to the effects of this transformation. If that were the case, the emphasis placed on this lethal form would be useless. I really have no idea how this is going to end, and honestly, that's the best feeling. Whatever goes down though, I think it will have huge repercussions. The preview for the last chapter described their current fight as the climax of their battle with Ishiki. Either the heroes will win, or the heroes will fall. I don't think there's going to be another chance for them to escape and prepare for round 3. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so happy to see Naruto take center stage. The writers of the series know how much the fans love old gen characters. Naruto and Sasuke are continuously being featured in chapter after chapter. In my opinion, this probably wasn't the original plan. Chapter 1 said that Naruto would only be a part of the story's very beginning. He was likely intended to be around for the early phases before passing the torch, similar to All Might in My Hero Academia. But here we are, over 4 years later, and our man is still in the spotlight getting new transformations. It's no secret that these legacy characters are far more popular with the fans than the new gen, which is why I believe they're still around getting big moments like this. The new cast hasn't quite caught the fanbase the way the old cast did. Many of us grew up with Naruto. It wouldn't be the first time this has happened either. Gohan was originally intended to replace Goku as the new protagonist of Dragon Ball, but the fans love Goku so much that he stuck around as the main character. While I don't think Naruto will be taking back the starring role, I do think his presence has been greatly expanded. Ikemoto originally estimated that Boruto would run 30 volumes. We're currently in volume 13, and I find it hard to believe that the series is already halfway through. That would hardly be the little bit at the beginning that Boruto referenced Naruto would be a part of. But enough about that for now, I think I'm going to make a separate video on the topic. I would love to see next month's chapter focus solely on Naruto vs Ishiki. No interference from Boruto or Sasuke. Nothing slaps like an uninterrupted one-on-one -on -one anime fight. Details are very limited, but I can't wait to see what this new form has to offer. When Guy had his swan song moment, it made him strong enough to nearly kill Ten Tails, Jinchiriki, Madara. I am more than ready to see Ishiki get messed up. He's had that same cocky and arrogant attitude, never breaking it since the moment he was introduced. Time and again, he has utterly disrespected Naruto and Sasuke. This man has the biggest butt whooping coming his way. I'm talking Jotaro on Steely Dan. Even if Naruto can't finish the job, I want to see him take Ishiki to the brink of death before he bows out. What do you think his new transformation will do? Let me know in the comments. We'll just have to wait until next month to see what happens. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got more Naruto content coming up as well as some gaming videos and other fun stuff. Subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. I'm pretty new to this, so your support goes a long way. Check out my Instagram for updates on what I'm working on. Links to the music and art I use will be in the description below. I'll see you guys next video.